Now, let's go back to our earlier story about protests that have broken out in uh, Namibia. Joining us over Zoom now is Joseph Kalimbwe. He's the pro-democracy advocate. Joseph, many thanks for your company here. I want to pick your first thoughts on what's going on in Nab Namibia at the moment. So what is happening in Namibia is that uh, there were protests uh, that took place on Independence Day. Young people decided to go out and protest uh, against unemployment. And, um, you know, they submitted the, uh, an application to the police to say they want to protest uh, against unemployment. Uh, those protests uh, took place on Independence Day yesterday. Indeed. So w what um, I want to know is, I mean, as, a, as an advocate, what are your impressions about how things turned out in Namibia? Well, it was unfortunate because the protest itself didn't take place. Uh, you know, the court decided to dismiss an application, an agent application that was submitted uh, uh, by the legal team of uh, those that wanted to do the protest. Uh, and so what happened then was that um, the organizers of the protest went to inform the protesters to say, no, let's change the date because we've lost uh, the court case. Uh, our, our application has been dismissed. So after that, there was a whole lot of promotion. We saw that young people now were told to go home. And as they were going home, the police came, they decided to disperse the crowds. And then what followed is that the, the, the protest leaders were arrested. Um, there are two members, Dimbulu Kenny Nuyoma and um, Michael Mushelelo, as, long as, as well as uh, a member of parliament in Hungary. They were arrested uh, yesterday and uh, they have not yet been charged as we speak today on the 22nd of March, uh, 2023. Very well. Um, we'll come back to those arrests, but let's talk about uh, violations of the rights to freedom of expression, which we have seen in many African countries uh, when people express their rights to uh, protest, especially when it's about government failures. Why are they almost always suppressed by authorities, sometimes violently, like we saw, um, you, you know, in other countries and in your own countries, where in your own country, where uh, the police denied protesters their right to express themselves? Well, first of all, I want to say that I'm, I'm, I'm from uh, uh, a region in Southern Africa where so many things happen. Um, the right to protest uh, is something that is enshrined in so many of our constitutions uh, across uh, the region. Uh, what happened is that uh, young people had uh, written to the police to say they wanted to protest in Namibia. But then um, the police had informed them to say that this is towards independence and needed to uh, protest on another date. But um, the events that followed in terms of the arrest and all that is something that has been un unfortunate. Uh, but we continue to see and receive uh, support from different sectors. We have seen uh, people from the entire region, the entire African continent, uh, calling for the release of uh, the protest leaders, for the Bulukeni Nyoma, for Michael Mushelelo, and for Inangari to be released and to be charged by the Namibia police. Very well. We'll leave it here for now. Thank you so much, Joseph. Joseph Kalimwe joined us from Lusaka, uh, Zambia. No, thank you very much.